So we're talking about airflow around the unit. Uh, Brian, can you hold up the uh, tool that you use very often uh, when you go to an air conditioning unit? He's holding up a pair of Felcro pruners because, uh, George, do you want to, do you want to? Uh, do you want to uh, Brian's point is that he's, we often have to trim bushes from around the unit so that it can breathe. And this is, uh, this is a homeowner's like to do this. How far away should they plant, uh, plant, do their plantings? They can plant pretty close. Vegetation doesn't really block a lot of air, but if, if it does get to where it's actually restricting the airflow either into the unit, which is not that big a problem, or up out of and away, trees are, can, can be a problem if they're really close <laughs> over the top. The most important, the, the thing that probably causes more problems than anything else is building a deck over a unit or putting a dryer vent close by. It ingests so much of that lint from a dryer vent, especially if you have little kids, that uh, you're using the washer and dryer all the time. The lint comes out of the dryer vent and if it's too close, within 20 feet or anywhere on this side of the house, the lint gets ingested in the coil and it clogs the system up and kills your efficiency and kills compressors. Uh, one more point. I noticed you raised this up on solid cap blocks. Why, why bring it up above grade? So we stay out of the mulch line, and if there is a heavy rain event, uh, we don't get a flood of water washing dirt up onto the coil again. We're trying to keep this coil clean. This outside of the coil is the only part we have to keep clean. doesn't matter what falls inside. This is what's important. Thank you very much.